What's coming up next, guys? A new Smith & Wesson review. That's what's next on the Bread and 9mm USA channel. From the Sherlock security safe to the tabletop today, this is going to be a review video on the Smith & Wesson Model 19 Carry Comp K-Frame Revolver. We shot over 200 rounds of Sig Sauer Elite Performance Ammunition through this revolver during the test, and this thing was incredible. And today, to start off this video, the Model 19 Carry Comp is inside a TT gun leather holster Another one of those very high quality holsters that we've been working with and testing out. This one is pretty fantastic. More of a pancake design, if you will. It is an open top, so there's nothing to take off to remove the revolver when you want to, except for friction. There we go. A gorgeous Smith & Wesson revolver. One that has been tricked out by the Performance Center. All right, guys, the gorgeous Smith & Wesson Performance Center Model 19 Carry Comp. We've got it loaded right now with six hourly performance 357 Magnums. This thing is so accurate. It's got an amazing trigger on it. Very smooth. The Smith & Wesson Model 19 Carry Comp is a standard six shot revolver chambered in 357 Magnum. So you can shoot 38 Special or 38 Special Plus P through this wheel gun. We're using a Sig Sauer Elite Performance 357 Magnum ammunition. It is 125 grain and it's traveling at 1450 feet per second. So it's moving out pretty good. All right, guys, all 357 Magnum here. Quick reload, back in the action. Alright guys, I'm going to go over some of the upgrades that Smith & Wesson has made to the K-Frame revolvers here real fast. First of all, Smith & Wesson added a ball bearing detent to the crane here to increase the overall lockup on K-frame revolvers. The forcing cone has been increased to like an in-frame style forcing cone. So this thing is going to be able to shoot 37 Magnum ammunition all day long. And on this specific Smith & Wesson model, it does have a 3 inch barrel that features a power port to mitigate muzzle rise and recoil on this revolver. This revolver is hot right now. It's burning my hand. Just holding it. Let's try a little single hand. Today's video is sponsored by Core Essentials. Core Essentials makes one of the best gun belts on the market today. I've been using their gun belt products since 2016. I thoroughly believe in their belt products and that's why we are excited to work with them now. I'm currently using the new tactical reinforced nylon belt from Core Essentials. The nylon webbing outer layer is rated up to 500 pounds. It is a very strong belt. The reinforced power core center and super fiber inner lining make this unique belt durable and stiff enough to support small to medium to even larger handguns. The belt itself is rated up to eight pounds maximum. Of course, I am exceeding that with my duty belt setup here. 
This is what the belt looks like while wearing my duty belt over top of it. And guys, here's the core belt being used inside of a full duty belt. So it's strong enough to support that. It's definitely strong enough to support your CCW firearm. So now let's cover the belts and go over the system and the buckles themselves. All of course belts are 800% more adjustable than your old traditional belts. These track line belts have over 40 sizing positions to choose from. You just pull the extra belt material through the buckle and you get that precise fit. You can press the belt buckles quick release tab to loosen the belt. These features make it very easy to find that perfect fit no matter what your size. The adjustments in the belts track is made every quarter of an inch making it very versatile indeed. The track is hidden when you wear the belt and the track is nearly indestructible. We do not see any wear on the track belts that we have been using for over a year. The belt secured the buckle using the teeth clamps and two set screws. You've got classic style buckle designs here that do not scream tactical belt because no one needs to know you're carrying a concealed weapon. Core Essentials offers a 30 day money back guarantee and a one year warranty on their products. My current setup is running the X4 stainless steel buckle and a tactical reinforced gun belt. The whole package goes for a little bit less than $63 after you use the discount code B9USA. That's a real value and a good product that I have tested over time and I highly recommend it to you guys. I will be buying several more belts coming up and giving them away as gifts, be it for a birthday or for Christmas season. So here's the two different color belts that are available from Core Essentials. As far as taking your gun on or off as a concealed carry person, right underneath here is the release. And it's that easy. Very strong belt. Putting it back on. And this excellent leather holster right here. And that's right guys, I've switched over to the Dan Wesson for a concealed carry handgun. Feed it through the belt buckle, and then just grab it from this end here, and pull. And you're good to go. There is no slag in this belt, it holds it really tight to your hip right here. As you can see, it sucks this 1911 up right up against my hip. This is not a light overall package right here, and the belt does an excellent job. If you do place your order, guys, make sure you use the B9USA discount code and save 10% off your entire order. This Model 19 Carry Comp comes in at 34.2 ounces. It is very wieldable, easy to carry because of the weight itself, and it tames the recoil very well. Just a terrific choice for a CCW revolver. It does have a full-length ejector rod right here, as you can see makes it quite a bit easier to get those empty cases out and then it is fully shrouded right here so you've got great protection also. This revolver has an amazing balance and it is extremely pointable. It has a very natural point of aim. The sights on this revolver are standard Smith & Wesson with a tritium front insert right there along with the ramp front sight and it has a square notch for the rear. Pretty nice sight picture. Not bad at all. Notice also that it is windage and elevation adjustable on the rear sight. And you have these serrations up on top of the revolver to help reduce glare. Just a very nice package overall. This revolver has a round butt frame and these grips right here are the wood grips that came stock on this revolver. They have a two finger grip to them. They're basically a boot style grip and I wanted to give this revolver a full size set of grips so I installed these Altamont G10 grips right here. These are fantastic grips, have great traction in them and give you that full size combat grip that I wanted. That combined with the back strap back here just give you an amazing feel here. These grips are basically indestructible extremely high quality and a great upgrade for sure I yeah. like the grips a lot too if you have a larger hand like I do these grips really come into play and make this revolver very comfortable to shoot alright so after mainly shooting 3D7 magnum out of this now I'm going to shoot some 
Three a special plus BV crown from Six Hour. Wow. That's extremely smooth through this. It's like a 22. <laughs> it's a terrible reload. Little one hand action, strong hand for me. Left hand. Not bad. And what we're shooting here, you guys, is all Sig Sauer Elite Performance Ammunition, 357 Magnum Ammunition. There's no question that a trigger is definitely better. It's traditional Smith & Wesson Performance Center, just extremely smooth. It is awesome. Yeah, great return spring. Wow. Let's talk about the trigger on this revolver, which is one of the sweetest parts of it. The trigger on this specific revolver is really fantastic. Double action right here, guys. Very smooth. It just feels a little bit shorter. It's not heavy, but yet you do have to put some you know, force behind it. I'm going to guess it's around nine and a half, ten 10 pounds, but very consistent through its pull. Very just, smooth. Just tremendous. Yeah, it's a great performance center trigger here. The trigger itself features an over travel stop, as you can see right there. Pretty easy to see. And it does have the performance center tuned action, so it just leads to that excellent trigger pull. You can see how fast the return spring is. As fast as you can raise your finger, the trigger follows you. So a tremendously good trigger, really enjoyed it. At the range, it is perfect. And I'm sure as a CCW revolver, this would be ideal. Wow, it is getting hot. It's almost too hot to touch. Giving it a little bit of a workout here. All right, there it is. The model 19 carry comp from the Performance Center. Now back to the tabletop. One more thing I wanted to cover on the revolver, guys, as we look at just how absolutely sexy it is. I know that's subjective, but I'm telling you what I think. I am very jealous of this one owned by young Beretta. Eat your heart out. Yeah. <laughs> We'll see how much money I can gather to try to bribe it from him. Anyway, um, the lockup. Let's talk about lockup. Nothing. Just a smidge. Again, nothing. A smidge. Just a tiny bit. So very, very good lockup on this Smith & Wesson revolver, and that's what we come to expect. I think all performance center guns should be this good. I know that's not always the case. Um, at least I've heard that's not always the case, but this specific one is a 10. What I've personally noticed, and this may not be your guys' experience, but the new production K-frame Smith & Wesson revolvers just have a tremendous lockup. With that ball bearing detent and all the other features, 
Uh, these new production K frames are just a 10. They're my favorite, you guys. You know, I own a couple J frames, uh, I own one L frame, and I own multiple K frames. The K frame is just my favorite size, and it's just quality. This thing not only goes up very well against Rugers and Colts and stuff like that, but we also shot this specific one against the Chiapa Rhino, right? Yeah. And I thought the Rhino, uh, was gonna take it and we both came to feeling that this thing was just far superior over the Rhino. Now I know that's subjective and that's our way of looking at things. It's it's subjective to the person, I guess is what I'm trying to say. But we both walked away thinking this is the gun to have. And for people that do a lot of shooting like we do, we're well over 10 revolvers at this point in time to feel so strongly about a specific revolver. Guys, this one has to be checked out. If you don't own it, check it out. If you're going to buy one revolver or two revolvers in 2020, this one needs to be looked at. It is really and truly that good. The MSRP on this is currently $1,096 for a full MSRP. Check it out to see what you can get it in your area. I'm guessing somewhere around $900. Um, I think that that's a tremendous buy considering it's a carry piece to home defense or anything else you want to use it for. It is a 10 in my book one of my favorites and i don't own it so i kind of need one myself i hope you guys enjoyed this review of the smith and wesson model 19 carry comp and if you're interested in this revolver or anything else available from smith and wesson go ahead and go to their website and check out their products there as always everyone thanks for watching the video remember to like share and subscribe to our channel here on youtube beretta 9 millimeter usa and support us on patreon if you like we'll see you guys on the next video and remember your second amendment is worth protecting.